Hi folks, this is God of Radio Moscow here again with another beer review. Uh, today I am going for Mythos, which is from Greece. Now, Mythos basically translates into English as myth, which is a, a little bit of a cliche, obviously, considering the ancient history that Greece has. But I'm quite excited to do this one for you today, because this is a beer that I was recommended by my, my best friend, and he'd gone to, to Crete a number of years ago and raved about this beer. And uh, he, when he coming back, he'd tried to find it for quite a long time. And then a couple of years later, I walk into the, the counting house in George Square in Glasgow, see this beer, and for some reason, it rings a bell. I take a photo of it and send it to him. It's like, oh, that's the one, that's the one. So uh, here we are. It's become it's becoming more readily available in the UK now. So here we are with the review. But I'll tell you a little bit about the, the brewery itself. Now, since their, their foundation, they've grown to be the second largest brewery in Greece. And the Mythos Company is descended from Henning of Hellas, which was a, a specialist importer and distributor of German beer. And they were founded back in 1970. And the company was bought over in 1992 by the Batari Group, and they renamed it the Northern Greece Brewery Limited. And that was part of a business strategy to create a genuinely domestic Greek brewery. Now, this product, the Mythos Beer, was introduced in 1997, and in 2001, the company changed its name to the Mythos Brewery, just to reflect the fact that this had become its primary product. Now, Scottish and Newcastle became the majority shareholders of the, the Mythos Brewery in 2004. As I spoke about in the Masagras Cerveja review, uh, Heineken and Carlsberg had a, a coalition, if you like, to buy out Scottish and Newcastle in 2007. But unlike Sagres, Mythos went uh, under the control of Carlsberg, and that happened in 2008. But since then, this company, this beer itself, is exported throughout Europe, the US, Canada, Taiwan, Australia, and places like that. In Greece, they also produce the German, the German beers Henninger Lager, Kaiser Pilsner, and there's a local, uh, a local brand within Greece called Golden. So hopefully, I can get a hold of some of these and uh, give them a review at some stage as well. But uh, let's just get this one forward. And we can take a little look at it. Uh, now it's a five percent uh, pale lager. Let's get this guy out. As you can see, it's a nice. A nice light golden colour. There's a lot of uh, a lot of carbonation in that actually. The nice head there. It seems to seems to have a good little bit of retention actually. It's quite nice. Um, just give it a little smell. It's quite uh, it smells very sweet. There's a little bit of a uh, you can smell that uh, the sweet malt and there's a little bit of breadiness about it. It has a little you can smell some some kind of uh, some grassy hops in it. I would say it's it's very the overriding thing is is the sweet the sweet malts. There's a little there's a, like I say there's a little bit of breadiness in there as well. It smells it's a really nice smelling beer. I would say sound it smells it smells like something you would be after on a summer day to cool down a little bit. We'll give it a little go. Hmm. It's kind of, you can taste, the, the first thing that comes is that the bready malt, uh, there's a little bit of maybe a, a graininess. You can see you can smell the grassiness in this as well when you're drinking it. I'd say, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, you can taste the sort of sweet and bready malts. There's a hint of, there is a little hint of a, a graininess in there. It's quite, it's very light bodied, I would say. Typical of a lager though. It's very, it's very kind of thirst quenching. I can see this, this is an excellent beer, I would say, for drinking outside in the hot sun. Definitely, it's, it has that. It has that nice smell about it. It has that summery smell that we make you want to drink, you want to, to drink this during the summer and just enjoy the day, basically. It's a typical kind of southern European beer. The aroma is very nice. It's nicer than I than some of the Spanish beers and things like that. Yeah, I really, I really do enjoy this beer. I've had it a couple of times before. I would say I really, I really enjoy this one, but I've never thought about it too much. But yeah, the the over the the prominent feature in this one is the. You've got to start with the bready malts, and it's 
there's a little hint of graininess in there, and there's a kind of the finish to it's quite hoppy and quite dry. It's very very light bodied and uh, very like I say, very very thirst quench and ideal an ideal summer beer basically. So it's quite it's very very crisp as well, which is always nice from this kind of this kind of style of beer I'd say. Hmm. As you can see, the heads faded away fairly quickly. It looked as if it was going to stay for for quite a while actually when first pouring it, but I would say this beer, um, it doesn't taste. I've, I've compared other beers in the past to German pills, but this one, this one doesn't really taste like a pills at all. It doesn't have that little caramel, that little sort of caramelly element to it. Um, it's more of a the, the the hops in it and the malts are more bready rather than having that little sweet caramelly edge to them. Um, I'd say it's an ideal be ideal beer for a hot summer's day. I seem to say that a lot with quite a few beers, but very light bodied. It's a beer. It's a beer you could go for a night and drink with. It's not one where you have to think too much about the flavour. It's very very refreshing. It's more ideal than most for for a summer's day, basically. Say that about. I keep saying that about quite a few beers, but this would be out of the ones I've reviewed so far. This would be my my choice for a. Uh, for a, a summer's day drinking beer, um, there's not much more I can say about this one really. Um, but, but thanks again for thanks again for watching my my reviews. Uh, let me know your own thoughts on the beer. Uh, hopefully I can find uh, another some of the other Mythos products to uh, to review for you as well. I know there is another Greek beer called uh, Fix, so hopefully I can get a hold of that at some stage and review that, give you a bit of comparison with the Greek beers. But thanks very much again for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Subscribe, like the video, and uh, I'll be back soon with another with another review for you. Cheers.